In this video, I'm going to be going through several examples of subqueries using MySQL. And I'm going to be in the workbench using the sample database, Sequilla. So subqueries are sometimes referred to as inner queries, and they are set off by parentheses to indicate that you have a query within another query. And then that inner query, the one set off with parentheses, gets executed first. In some ways, subqueries are similar to joins where we're usually getting data from multiple tables using these inner queries, all right? But it doesn't always work out like that. And a lot of times you can actually write a subquery as a join. And if that's the case, usually you're going to prefer to use the join because they run more efficiently and more quickly than the subquery. Okay, and where the join is part of the from clause, the subquery is part of the where clause. So I'm going to jump in and we're going to work through a couple of examples of this. All right, so I'm going to be using Sequilla. Okay, and before we write our first example, uh, we probably want to review Sequilla is a fictitious sample database and basically it's a movie rental business. So they have a number of tables as shown over here. Okay, and uh, the relevant table we're looking at for this first query is film. All right, and just to get an idea of some of the data there, we'll get a few columns. Okay, so we have uh, data about the films, and maybe we're interested in the film with the longest runtime. All right, so these are presented in the order of their primary key. All right, and so we can see this first row in here uh, has a runtime of 86 minutes. All right, and then if we wanted to just get the longest film, I can get rid of a few of these columns here and we'll just run a max on that. Okay, and so we see that the longest film is 185 minutes, uh, but what happens is we got disconnected from the title. So, right, why don't we just add the title back in? And when I do that, we see that, oh, sort of connected that first row in the table with that maximum length. All right. So uh, this is not the title of the longest movie. All right. And there are a couple of ways to get at this, uh, but I'm going to use a subquery to do it. All right. So I'll just leave the max query there and I'm going to enclose that in parentheses. All right. So this query will get run first. So it will just return the 185. And then I'm going to write the main query where we get some columns of data that we want from the from the table. Okay, and there's a couple of ways I could do this. I could say len equals, or I can say n. All right, they should be equivalent. And let's see what this one does. Okay, so we get our results set, and we already knew that the max length was 185. What we didn't know was that there was uh, several movies that all have that same length. Okay, now I could get at this by just uh, rewriting the query as a simple select and limiting the results to the top 10 rows. Okay. And, and that might be preferential. All right. But then I wouldn't have gotten a chance to show you how to write a subquery. So the next example is one that we probably can't get at without a subquery. And uh, what I want to do here is get a proportion of movies with a specific rating. Okay. So if I go ahead and once again, use that film table and I can get a count of everything in there. Okay, so a thousand movies in there. And then if I want to know how many of those are, say, NC-17, and we see that 210, about a fifth of them are NC-17. All right, but if I want this displayed as a proportion rather than a count, okay, how do I do something like that? All right, and this one, I don't know a way of doing it without using a subquery. So I'm going to wrap that condition in parentheses. So this gets run first. And I'm going to use that in the numerator of our main query. And so this one's written just a little bit differently. All right, so I have my top level query, and then I put in my denominator, and then I'll just organize it a little differently. Okay, so we're first going to select all these, and then we're going to go outside and select the overall count and use that as the denominator. So let's see what happens there. And uh, there we have it. We get our proportion. All right, and yeah, if we want, we can just sort of give it an alias. 
so that we don't see that big expression in the as the column name. All right, so the last example is what uh, people would probably typically mean when they're talking about a subquery, something that moves across more than one table. All right, so uh, if we want to find customers who've rented movies with a specific rating, maybe we want to email them or something like that, right? I could start by sort of selecting things like a first name and a last name and maybe an email. All right, but to do this one, uh, we're going to have to look at the entity relationship diagram. So let's take a look at that first so we can see how to get there. Okay, so basically we have to start at customers and transverse across the rental and inventory table till we get to that film table, which has the rating. All right, so you may be thinking about how would I do this with a join? And yeah, you could do this one with a join, uh, but it may not actually be as easy or as readable as the subquery form. So we're going to use a subquery here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is put together the first name and the last name with a concat here. All right, and we'll get the email. And then, yeah, we'll start at customer. All right, so this is where, right, the next uh, expression would be our join, all right, but we're not going to join. So we're going to move on to our where clause, all right, and then we're going to look at some unique identifier for the customer that is in that rental table, all right, and it's the customer ID. All right, and here I'm going to use in. All right, so this is the typical syntax for a subquery, all right, and then I'm just going to organize, and a lot of times we use tabs to get better organization here, and I'm going to open a parenthesis, and then I'm going to select and I'm gonna move into that rental table. All right, so I'm gonna be looking for the customer ID here from the rental table, all right, and then we're gonna look for this one to meet a condition on that inventory table. So a second sub. A little syntax error there. All right, and then finally, right, we're at our film table. Okay, and then we just need to close out all of our subqueries. One, two, three, and a semi. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we get here. And uh, so now we have all of our customers who have rented a an NC-17 rated movie. Okay, so I hope that helps you get started with subqueries in MySQL.